Geez, it was hard for me to find my own, my own live. Oh, uh. All right, now I can see the area. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I figure I'd come live. Let's see, I got, wow, I got 51 people in here already. Holy moly. Um, yeah, I figured I'd go live for a little bit because there are these things popping up. No, oh, this stupid email. Um, I haven't had a video out in a little while. Oh, I've just been so busy. So I figured I'd go live. I did shoot a video today. So I should have a video coming out in a couple weeks as soon as I got to do some editing. Oh, yeah, I've been real busy. We got Renee Moon. Oh, that's a, that's a nice name, Renee Moon. Hello, we got Dan, Dan Shaw. Sizzle Wizzle, as a name I recognize. We got Slight 3D. Morning or an evening, <laughs> morning. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty tired too. Still, um, yo. Oh, let me. Uh, I gotta go grab something. Wait a minute. This will just be a quick second. Oh my god, I'm trapped in here. Ugh. All right. Yeah, the whole reason I wanted, another reason why I wanted to go live is because of this thing. I'll explain that in just a minute. We got Matthew. Hello, Sean the Mouth. How you doing? Oh, I should really stop chewing this gum. All right. We got Mike Perry. Did we get drilled by the storm? Um, Not really. I mean, the morning commute, that was definitely, it was... Icy and slippery and very slushy, but I'd say probably by 11 o'clock, it was the roads were just wet. And um, right now, we only just got like a dusting of snow. We didn't really get killed, but the morning commute was definitely not not very uh, nice. Um, John S. in the house. We got Mike Perry again. <laughs> Thank you. Chris, hello. What you been up to? Well... Uh, yeah, like, la I've, been, I'm, I've been really busy. A lot of traveling. Uh, last weekend, we had a contest. Uh, I think I, uh, I can explain more about that in about a month, what, what, what I think happened at that. Because I don't think I have another contest until, um, like, middle of May. So, I'm not very good contest shape, like, for speed eating. Uh, my capacity... Well, two weeks ago, my capacity was was probably on point. I don't know if it was the best it's ever been, but um, it was definitely good. So I wasn't um, I wasn't really prepared for like the contest, but I did okay. I, I think you now, yeah, I wasn't really happy with how I did. But more pizza, yes, I had, I, I recently ate a lot of pizza. <laughs> That's not my video though. My video coming out is not not pizza. Um, how can you eat so much food? Yes, definitely Bob Miller. Um, I probably, I train for it, right? So I probably, I naturally, I can easily eat three times as much now that I could when I uh, naturally, like when I was natural. <laughs> Not that I'm enhanced now, I just practice. Um, hello from Minnesota. Uh... Reese Max. Oh, we got uh, Mare Bear here. Why do I keep skipping people? Uh, I need to do a video after you complete a challenge and make sure you don't. 
Uh, well, usually what happens when I do a video at home is I, I clean up, right? Because I, if I do clean, if I cook, then I got to clean all the pots and pans or whatever. And then um, if I buy the challenge, I got to take out the trash and, and just do all that stuff. And you really don't feel like talking when you're um, – like when you're really, really, really hungry, you get angry, right? But when you're really, really, really full, you're also angry. So it's not really something you really want to talk. Um, let's see. Good work at the fudge contest. Um, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't really do that great of a job. Uh, shine the mouth at the fudge contest. I just wasn't. I wasn't in shape um, for speed eating. Um, I could tell right off the bat. Like I had a. The very first, like the very first fudge I tried to pick up, it was like stuck to the plate, and I had to like screw around with it. And I was taking small bites, and yeah, I just wasn't in really good um, uh, speed eating. I guess the competition speed eating um, shape, but um, I wasn't full at the end of the contest either, which is not well. It's any eight minute contest, and you're eating fudge, but. Man, I, I, I just I wasn't happy with the way I performed. I definitely can do could do better. You, you gotta say Webb did do a good job though. He ate quite a bit, but I think like it was all because of his um he did most of his eating, I think, in the first five minutes. So yeah. I'll just well, I got like a whole month to get back in shape, so which I don't know when the um hot dog qualifiers are gonna come out too. I wonder what all these other things you can do. I'm afraid to hit these buttons on the side here because I don't know what they're gonna do. Um yeah, I got to worry about the hot dog uh, qualifiers coming out too. So, man, I bought a bunch of hot dogs. I got like a ton of hot dogs to practice with. But I think um, this year I'm going to definitely have to figure out something different because every year, like for the last last three or four years, I guess I've done been, yeah, three, say three. I've been doing, just doing the exact same thing to prepare for Coney every year. So I think maybe this year I might have to put a little extra effort into it, which is tough because it, I really don't have the time. It might I might cut into my YouTube. So, yeah, it takes a, like uh, Joey and now Webb, right? Um, and well, I guess you could talk about Kobayashi, Matt Stoney, like all the people that were really really good at Coney Island. They don't work, right? They don't have a job. Like Joey's job is competitive eating. Matt Stoney's job was competitive eating. Kobayashi's job was competitive eating, and now Webb's job is eating right he doesn't he doesn't go to work every day he, he drives around does food challenges and does eating right so um it's it's tough for somebody that has a regular job to to um find time to to put into just competitive eating so and you're gonna find that with with just about everybody um if anybody wants to ever be as good as joey is there's no way they're gonna have they're gonna be able to work there's just it's, it's just not going to happen. You have to train and recover. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just any, any sport done at an extremely high level, you have to just dedicate your life to it. And a regular person just can't do that. Um, wow. We got 99 people in here. Is this saying that? Wow. This is one Oh four. Holy moly. I better, um, I better start being, uh, entertaining here. Um, let's see. We got, Love thy Lord. Thanks for my eating challenge. My next eating challenge was pretty good. I didn't feel like filming, but I say that every single time, I think. Every time I edit my videos, I'm like, ah, oh, I said this last time. I said this last time. But, um, yeah, it's a it's – a, I think it's a good challenge. We'll see what happens. Um, I got to do some more fast food. I, I think I got to um, – I got to find another fast food challenge to do, like a 30 and 30 with something. So if anybody has a really good idea for a 30 and 30 um, – let me know. We got Skylar Moon. I like that name. That's a cool name too. We had what did we have Renee? What was the first one? Renee? I can't. I don't want to go back. I'll lose my spot. I think it was Renee. Uh, Mike Silva from New Hampshire. Yeah, no, the day our day wasn't like that snowy. It was just like a little slushy here. In the morning it was uh, icy though. Snow in Mass in April. No, we get snow in April in Mass. It's not that uncommon. Um, yeah, number two at the fudge, like I said, I don't, I wasn't real happy with the way I did at the fudge contest. I just, uh, I wasn't ready. Um, but there's a good reason why I wasn't ready and I'll, I'll, I'll disclose that in about a month or so. 
Um, but that's all over, so I should stop trying to get back into competitive eating shape. I don't know, maybe I'm getting too old, too. I don't know. Evening Tunny. Tunnies versus food. Big Tunny, little Tunny. <laughs> uh, Brady Wilson. How you doing? Um Am I feeling better? Actually, I still I still got the sniffles, Renee. Like, uh, yeah, this is like the longest cold I've had in a long time. It's definitely a cold and not like the flu because I never really like got knocked out. Like I could always function and walk around and stuff. But yeah, man, I was um, – it's, it's, it's lingering. But I'd rather have this than the flu because when I get the flu, man, it's like three, four days in bed. It's, it's just bad. The, the flu. I got that swine flu. Like in the middle of the summer, I got the swine flu. Oh, man, that was bad. It was just a cycle of uh, shivering, like shivering so hard that I had to like take my blankets and put them in my mouth so my teeth wouldn't chat, like smash together. And then, you know, 45 minutes later, you'd be sweating and dripping sweat and you, the sheets would get soaked and you'd have to take them off and wash them. And it was just a cycle of that. Like, Twice a day, you had to take the sheets off and wash them, and then you'd be shivering. It was like, <clears throat> I think it was like 85, 90 degrees out, and I was contemplating turning the heat on. I was so, like, frigid, like, shaking so cold. <clears throat> yeah, that was the worst, the, the swine flu. That was bad. But I have to say, after I had the swine flu, I didn't get the flu again till this year. So that was probably, like, 15 years ago. Um, was the fudge contest similar fudge you used to practice with no it was definitely different which kind of threw me off it was a lot softer than i thought it was going to be so uh, initially i thought it was going to be hot i mean i picked it up and i felt it was soft but i was used to taking smaller bites because i the fudge that i was able to get a hold of was a little bit more stiff and you just couldn't swallow a big chunk so you had to bite off but this this fudge you probably could have swallowed a lot bigger chunk than i was doing um, I was just being careful because I was used to that uh, thick fudge, but maybe sometimes it's not good to practice like you, cause then you have preconceived conceptions, like what, what it's going to be like, unless you can get the exact food. Um, Damon, Pete, oh, we got Skylar. Okay. Yeah. Hap, hap, no, it's not my birthday, Skylar. <laughs> uh, hap, uh, hey Jeff, good to see you live. Um, been watching for you. Oh, thank you. Saucy sauce. Yeah. Um, no, I could do speed stuff at home. It is dangerous. It could be dangerous. Um, but uh, they don't usually get the views. So I think if I would do the speed practice stuff, it would just be off, off camera, which means I probably couldn't shoot as many videos. So in the, com in the next couple of weeks, I'll try to get some video shot, but then it might be another break again. So sweet corn. No, no, I don't do sweet corn. No, I don't. That contest is... Uh, too controversial for me. Um, yeah, yes, Tyler, we did have a snow day today. I'm looking forward to the um, strawberry shortcake contest this year. Actually, uh, I want. I really want to try to break that record, and I think I can. I think I can. Last year, I did. I think the record is 22 pounds, and as far as the weight goes, it's probably pretty close to legit. I mean, they probably do weigh them out. The the, the plates are a pound a piece, um, but there's a lot like that get like juices and stuff that don't don't go into your mouth so um it's probably pretty close i'd say within 10 percent. so i would like to get o over that 22 if i get 22 and a half i would be happy um you just run out of time it's only eight minute con i think it's an eight minute contest uh do i like spicy challenges jay jerry no i will do spicy challenges though with somebody in collaboration i do them with um beyond seattle eats um Bob said, I tried to eating challenge. It was so full after four Big Macs. Yeah. I mean, for an average person, four Big Macs is a lot. And uh, I know a lot of people, if they tried to eat four Big Macs, man, they'd have to run to the bathroom. Like something about McDonald's and certain people, like it just goes through them. I, I don't know why. It doesn't happen to me. Like, but I had this one friend, man, if he would eat McDonald's, you could not get home fast enough for that guy. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happens, but. Could I eat a lot as a kid? Yes, I definitely could. And I had a very good food tolerance as well. Like I could eat a lot and it wouldn't bother me. Whereas a lot of other people I noticed, they would eat a lot and they would just be useless. Like they couldn't, they just lay on the couch or they couldn't move or anything like that. Uh, Brandy says, hello. We, uh, Willie, all the way from Australia. 
Man, I don't know. Every time I think of Australia, I think I saw this video and there was like a whole wall full of these giant spiders. And I was like, oh, man, I don't know if I ever want to go to Australia, which is kind of a shame because it looks kind of neat. Um, where would you travel to if you could? Um, right now, I mean, I'm pretty good. I, I, I've already, I was already, I did a lot of traveling recently, so I kind of want to take a break. <laughs> Uh, New Zealand, I always looks looks. I think it looks beautiful. Um, could you eat 35, 34 pounds of baked beans? No, there's n there's nobody right now that could eat thirty four pounds of baked bean on this. As far as I know, on this planet, um, for the number two. <laughs> um, thank you, Smokey. My least like, I mean, there's lots of food that I just won't eat. Like, I don't like gross food or raw food or um, there's lots and lots of types of foods that I don't like. I wouldn't say I'm picky because I just, I don't, I don't like, to, I'm not very uh, adventurous eater, I guess. That's the best way to say it. Mr. Guardian of the Hades. Uh oh, wait, isn't that the Guardian of Hades? Oh, I'm thinking of the, the who's the, who's the guy that, um, Chiron, right? The guy the, the, on the boat. No, I guess that's not the Guardian. I don't know. Maybe that's the... Uh, what's that three-headed dog? Maybe that's the Guardian of Hades. Thank you, Mr. Guardian. Uh, Maxwell. Taquitos. Yeah, actually, I was looking at those in the supermarket the other day. Those little frozen taquitos. I could do that. I have to check to see if I already did it, but uh, that is that is something I could do. I would... Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. James. Um... I wish I could do more restaurant challenges, but I just actually there is one that's close, another one, brand new one that popped up that's close by. Maybe I'll I'll do that one over my uh, vacation in a couple of weeks. Uh, elevate. Thank you, I appreciate it, Bob. Uh, stuff a turkey with gushes and ice cream. Oh my god, I mean I don't think I would like I wouldn't mind turkey and ice cream together, but I don't know what tech gushers are. Uh, who's your favorite food eater that you've done a challenge with? Man, I haven't really done a lot of collaborations. I mean, when I did that, besides that big burger, who have I collaborated with? Um, I did a challenge with Brandon, Molly, of course. I did a challenge with Bob, um, Mickey, um, and Nick, uh, separately at, at different times. Um, D Darren, I've done a challenge with Darren. Uh, there's been a couple others, but really I haven't done too, too many. I mean, I, I think they're all, all the per uh, everybody I've done a challenge with, I wouldn't do a challenge with them if I didn't think they were, I didn't like them. Maybe Matt Stoney could coach you. I don't think Matt's really interested in uh, like the real hardcore competitive eating anymore. I'm sure he's got a lot of knowledge, though. Thank you, Mike. We got Brandon with two N's. Yes, Brandon. I, I, I think you keep asking me that. I already answered it. I did. Yes, the answer is yes. Uh, chestnuts in animal. Yeah, when he wants to be. <laughs> um... Could you eat? Don't. Smokey is a wrench on here, Brandon. So you're going to get in trouble with him pretty soon. Um, what are we doing today, bud? Well, nothing today. I'm getting ready to call on a night pretty soon. I am tired. And I, I like I said, I did a lot of traveling lately. And it, it's taken a lot long, long time for me to recover. So who? Um, Molly or Joey, who's number one? Well, Molly is number one in the independent circuit and Joey is um, number one in MLE. There's lots of another one. Like there's a number one eater in Thailand and the number one eater in Taiwan and the number one eater in Japan and the number one eater in Canada, right? There's lots of number ones. Maxwell ate nine egg rolls. Were they like, the ones you got at a Chinese restaurant or they were they one ones that you got like in the frozen food section. Can I eat a hundred chicken wings? Yes, I've eaten I've eaten definitely eaten over a hundred chicken wings before. Uh how long have I been doing competitive eating? I think uh longer than I, I think like 
Jeez, I th- I'm thinking close to 10 years, but like real serious, I think it's been about seven. Are you from Jersey? No, no. I'm waiting to see if somebody by the name of Fry Jemmy is on here because I got this. Look at this coffee. I should have put coffee in it now that I'm thinking about it. He got me this cup. So I'm hoping, that's why I'm doing this live. I should have emailed him. Maybe I could email him now. Maybe I'll, well, he could watch the live afterwards, right? I can email him and say, Jimmy, he bought me this. This is just a cool cup. This came in the mail. And I was like, who the heck sent me this? And it was like probably two or three weeks later till he emailed me. He said, did you get the cup? And I'm like, oh, you sent it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I appreciate it. I'm definitely, I should have put coffee in it tonight. But yeah, look at this cup. Pretty cool. It says MLE on it. I'm definitely going to keep this. This is going to be a, something I keep for a long time. 30 saltines in 30 seconds. I don't think that's possible. Um, love from Cali in Oregon, Lisa. Why don't you talk to a, a lot when you do food challenges with people? Because you it you can't eat and talk at the same time. Um, a lot of people from Oregon in here. Oh, I've never been to Oregon as far as I can remember. Maxwell, you got a headache. Oh, yeah. I had a headache the other day, too. Oh, lasted all day. How about doing a Domino Pan Pizza? 30 Pan Pizzas? How, they must be pretty small. Norovirus, it's been terrible. Feel better, Jeff. It might be. I don't know. It's just a regular cold to me, right? Says, so change camera angle when I eat some more food. That's mostly due to that big bowl I use a lot of times. It's, it's like that bowl is extra big and it kind of hides the food. Um, I could go back to like the aluminum pans, but I really do like that big bowl. Um, yeah, I, I change. I, I don't change up the camera angle too, too often just because um, every now and then I get the camera angle just right so it doesn't cut my head off and I don't want to change it. And then when I do change it, it cuts my, my, my tripod. Like if I take it somewhere and I got to move the legs, it gets all messed up. Um, you know what I mean? Let's see. Uh, criminally underrated. I don't know if I'm underrated. There's, there's not really... Competitive eating is like not really that big of a deal, so I don't know if there's like a com like underrated. Um, we got Michael. Oh, uh, yeah, Shirley. We says, um, "What food is my favorite challenge?" Oh, that's got to be pizza, right? Um, do you like the body aches so bad? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I notice a lot of YouTubers say that, like where, when they're reading their comments, they're like, yeah, I don't know what that means. And then, like a lot, like a, like a lot of them. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, Paul Church, Cape Cod. Oh boy. How about spicy chicken 30 and 30? Ooh, I don't know if I'd want to do a spicy chicken. I just wouldn't like it. It would just be so unenjoyable. I do a regular McChicken. I think I might've done a regular McChicken already. I don't know. Uh, Michelle, smell the fudge. No, nah, it really, it's not, it's not that the sweet, get, in eight minutes, you're not going to get, the sweetness doesn't get to me. I don't even really taste the sweetness, to tell you the truth, in eight minutes. So, um, it's not too, too bad. It was, it was, I definitely didn't feel good after the contest, like, maybe ten minutes after the contest, I started to feel bad. But during the contest, it was no big deal. Um, thank you, Smokey. Oh, it was on the, on the 19th. So, oh, May 19th or April 19th? Why is the sweet corn? Co oh, because it's a big mess. Like the corn goes flying all over the place and they count debris and it's like, um, and plus they got to rake the corn like over their face and stuff like that. It's just not my type of contest. Um, there's a lot of debris and it's a lot of controversy. Like they don't weigh anything. It's not like, it's not like scientific. Like it's more, they count the ears of corn and they subtract off what they think the debris is. And yeah, so. Uh, Deborah, video... Oh, my, yeah, that was a while ago. Two years ago, I think that was, Deborah. Um, uh, Deborah, I don't know. She, she wants to know if restaurants in my area could, like, make a challenge for me. Yeah, I don't know if I have a big enough name for them to do that. They, uh, there's, like, a couple. Like, the, the one out in uh, Sturbridge, the um, Elm Center Cafe, did that for me. But, like, the average restaurant around here, they don't know who I am. 
more pizza <laughs> thanks black dog more pizza is always better um new follower scott's eats talks great yeah 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 scott's eats yeah he's up in canada he's been posting a lot of videos lately um damon <laughs> <laughs> I thought the the well I don't want to give it away but the, vi the the video for today man it was rough. I don't know what I'm thinking when I make these challenges when I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't weigh anything out and they put it all together and then I weigh it and I'm like oh crap. Now should I shut the camera off and take some of this out and pretend I didn't or should I just go with it? <laughs> um is Joe even beatable at Nathan's? No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Not this year. Um, I don't think so. I don't think there's anybody right now that could eat. I don't think there's anybody right now that could eat 70 hot dogs in 30 minutes. Never mind, 10 minutes. So, um, oh, wow, yes, Scott eats. Saying hello to everybody. Oh, that's cool. Um, Justin, I've got Scott, uh, I don't know what that means. Um, what's up? Man, you can tell I still got a cold, huh? Scott Eats is saying, hello, Taco Bell is worse for running to the bathroom. I guess, I don't know, I don't have that problem. Uh, I guess it just sits in my stomach for a longer period of time. These other people, I don't know, uh, I don't know how a Big Mac can go in your mouth, into your stomach, and then out the other end in a matter of 10 minutes. I, I just don't know how that's possible. Uh, get out and do more restaurant challenge. Yeah, there is no restaurant. I mean, I, I, I would, but, like, there's very few restaurant challenges that are close to me. Uh, I say close. Like, what do you, like, four hours away? Is that close? I'm not going to drive four hours for a restaurant challenge. Um And then, like, if I go to do a contest, I really don't feel like doing a restaurant challenge. So it's it's tough. We got rubs in the house. Rub Sturgeon. Um, what's my thoughts on Canada? No, I've been to Canada a couple of times. Um, it's definitely different up there. I like the supermarkets. I went to the supermarket, walked around. It's uh, I, I like the um, I'd like to do some hiking up in Canada. Is what I really like to do. Uh, Thanks for coming, Matt. Mystery challenge. Yeah, those are really, really, really tough to get coordinated with um, with people because it's got to take a special person to want to do that. I don't know who would want to do it, but uh, I really appreciate it when they do. But Because they, they got to call a restaurant, order the stuff, pay for it, and then I just go and pick it up and then I eat it. So it, it's... um. It's amazing that I've had so many as I had because they're just, it takes a lot of effort from the person. Uh, how many brownies can I eat? Oh my God, I have no idea. I did, I think a hundred of those. Um, they weren't the cosmic brownies, but they were the ones with the walnuts, which is the same thing. It's just not those sprinkly things on top. You like breakfast food? Yes. I don't know if I like English breakfast. Most of the bre English breakfast food challenges, they don't even have pancakes. What's wrong with those guys? Um... You got Jeremiah's on here. Oh, thank you, Scott. Yes. Uh, after a food challenge, how long do you wait until you eat a uh, regular meal again? That depends um, on what I ate and like. Uh... Oh, boy. Uh... Ooh. Let's take hot dogs, for instance. One time I did a hot dog. I, I When I was in, the, I was around the 30, low 30s in the hot dog numbers. This was way back. And um, so I did a hot dog challenge and i didn't eat for two days after that one time yep two days and i wasn't hungry beard meets let's see do for likes beard i do a challenge actually beard did ask me to do a challenge with him i just couldn't coordinate the, the time and place for them yes thank you reese i appreciate it a lot would you eat a normal what would you eat oh it's like a normal day i don't i have like for breakfast today, I had, uh, oh no, yesterday, I didn't eat breakfast. Yeah, yesterday, I had a protein shake. And then for dinner, I had some like, uh, what did I have? Oh, I had that meaty. Uh, I had some chicken breast and I put like ketchup on. I ate a cold. That's, I don't eat like a meal. Like, I don't sit down and eat like a meal, like at a table and stuff like that. I just kind of grab stuff. Um, 
What's your real opinion on... I don't, what do you mean, my real opinion? What did I, I... There's something about him that I can't put my finger on. I I don't know. I think you're reading too much into it. He's just a just another uh just another eater. Um except for he's a little different because he's kind of made it his job now, which I don't know. I, I don't know how you would uh do that, but um it's kinda like you quit your day job before your night job paid, I guess, type of deal. <laughs> Um, but that's not, that is a business is not mine. Uh, okay. Over a big poutine next. If I did poutine though, I'd like, I want to get real cheese curds, which are not readily available. Have I met Josh the goat? Yes. And notorious Bob. Yes. Um, they have seven day pastry at seven eleven to eat 50 of them. Seven day pastry. I don't know what that is. 7-Elevens, there's not many around here anymore. Um, Kim, hello. Jeremiah is looking for a live from Scott. Did Molly ever go against Joey? No. Um, smooth American cheese. Do you feel... <laughs> uh, do you feel there will be a time with age when you retire? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I'm not going to do this forever. Um Poutine, French fries, yes, yes, I know, but um, yeah, yeah, no, I've, 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 uh, you can use like uh, mozzarella cheese, but the real poutine has cheese curds. <laughs> Krispy Kreme challenge, I would love. What do you mean, be Eric the allergic? I don't even know what his record is. I would love to do a Krispy Kreme challenge, but there, uh, there's not a place near me to get them. I'd have to travel. I'd have to drive at least an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back to get them. Ghost pepper burger. <laughs> uh, I never said that, Black Dog. <laughs> uh, hello from Ontario. How do we sponsor Fruit Challenge, Jerry? Uh, just email me. My email should be in the description, and we can discuss it. Um, you don't have to. Like, we can figure out, like, if there's something you really want to do. Um, yeah, I like to discuss it with people before they just, like, Send money and did say do this challenge. Uh, what about holiday serving Chinese takeout like twenty pound egg roll? I would love to do just plain egg rolls. That would be awesome. Orange chicken, uh, fried rice. Yep, that all sounds good. Twenty pounds. Uh, you guys throw a number out like twenty pounds. That's a lot of food, guys. Right? There's not many. There's not many people in the world that can do a twenty pound, a legit twenty pound challenge. Like, there's not many. So don't, don't just throw numbers like that out. Um, giant bowl of stuffing. Yeah, Thanksgiving. We gotta st I can start thinking of warm weather challenges, though. My favorite ballpark food? Uh, I guess it's a regular hot dog. Um, a hammock of cake. <laughs> Mr. Dub. Uh, Brandy Wilson, yeah. Yeah, just email me, and uh, my email is in the description. Um, we can talk about it. Like, sometimes people want to sponsor a video, and it's like they want me to eat, like, uh, 20 pounds of cow brains. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm sorry. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we got to discuss to make sure it's doable and it's reasonable and it's something that you you are, are you like as well. Uh, Smokey says, blue porridge, do you think you've drank? Oh, I don't know. I just bought some today. They were on sale. Um when I eat normally, what's your favorite thing to eat? You know, my one of my favorite things to eat is just like a regular protein shake. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really like um, – I've heard a couple of other competitive eaters say this too. Like they're just – they're sick of food. Like um, I'm not really sick of food, but like it doesn't really matter to me like what I eat. You know, like so I try to eat like something that is good for me more than anything. Like uh, cold chicken breast out of the fridge, I I like it. Like it's, it's not – yeah, I don't, I'm just not that picky when it comes to that stuff. Uh, homemade tacos. Yeah, I could do that. I've done that before um, to prepare for a taco challenge, for a contest. So. Washington, stay way up, way up, way out west and north. Wow. Gary Black. Uh, fried chicken wing challenge. Yeah, I, I have a bunch of chicken wings too. Um, Black Dog. 
Oh, 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 oh. Um, sports free. Good evening, sir. Joey, so Scott. Yeah, Black Dog is trying to start trouble, Scott. Um, Tina. KFC entire menu. So I want to do a KFC uh, challenge, um, but I'm scared because, like, last time I went to Burger King and got, like, I ordered, like, uh, the 30 burgers or what it was. Man, it really messed with their whole system up. And it was if I go to KFC and I order, like, a bunch of – I just feel bad for the people working there. Um, so, yeah, maybe I will just uh, – I wish there, I knew somebody that worked there so I could, like, warn them. I'm going to be coming on this day. Do you, you think you can get ready? Uh, I've, uh, Mark, yes, I've done lasagna challenge. I did a bunch of them. How bad's the aftermath? Oh, sometimes it's really bad, Isaiah. And sometimes it's not that bad at all. It depends on what I eat. Um, sweet challenges are really bad. Charlie's Seafood. Where did it go? Oh, no. I saw Charlie's Seafood. I don't know who... Ah, here it is. In Lynn Mass. No, I've never been there. Nobody asked that. Uh, yes. No, well, I, I fast before a contest usually that day. I'm not, not more. Sean the Mouth asked. Um, Pop Tart Challenge video. Try to do it quicker? I guess I could. Um, never really thought about it. If I were to, re I don't know. I think this toaster strudels are better. Uh, they taste better. Um, Shady Side, Ohio. In the house, Stacy Arno. How did you get started? Uh, it's the same old story as most other competitive eaters. I started doing restaurant challenges, and then I started doing small contests, and they, they just got bigger and bigger contests. Um, Scott doesn't want me to do the pop tarts again. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Smokey's asking Scott a question. Jesse Jeremiah, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but I could do a pot roast challenge, sure. I don't think they're that expensive either to buy. Do I know how to cook a pot roast? I think I do. I think I used to cook them. Actually, when I was in, I when I was a little kid, I used to cook them. I used to cook a pot roast and put it in the fridge and like just slice off pieces and I'd eat it like all week long when I was a kid. Um, what did I eat under there? Oh, we got Brandon in the house. Stop in to see how, <laughs> how to eat better. No, I think you're eating pretty dang good, Brandon. <laughs> um, Pop-tots are really bad for you. <laughs> Gary Black, I am going to do a hot dog video. Um, Not like speed eating the hot dogs, but like I'm going to put ketchup and mustard and relish and, and eat them in a delicious hot dog challenge. Brandon saying hello to people. We got Smokey saying hello. Oh, we got Notorious Bob in the house. What's up, Bob? I was I, I was on um, Bob's and Brandon's live early. I didn't comment much because I was like, uh, little did they know I was like preparing to shoot a video at home and I was cooking and stuff. But I was listening mostly. Uh, but I did. I think I commented once. Um, Scott just did a tour with Joel. Oh. And Brandon's doing a tour with Bob pretty soon over in UK. Um, I'm surprised they don't have any more like Indian challenges in the UK because like Indian food's really popular over there. Thanks, Brandon. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, Scott eats saying hello. We got Brandy. Bob's in here as well. Yeah, I got, I got, I got legit competitive eaters in my. Um, I got, I got Scott the, I got Scott, I got Sean, uh, Sean the mouth. I got Scott eats. I got Brandon. I got Bob. This, this is like a star-studded. One hundred and forty-five people watching. Holy cow! Um, I did two challenges with Bob. Actually, I did the big burger. And then we did a slightly smaller burger. It was still a big burger, though. <laughs> um, and Brandon, I did the big burger with. And I did a burger, the Eagles Deli Challenge Burger. And I did a big, huge, big mamas and papa pizza with Brandon as well. Um, 
So anyway, if you fast before challenges, um, the, the day of usually, and it depends on what the contest is going to be. If it's a really big capacity contest, I'll probably do some type of preparation the day before as well. Skylar Moon says hello. We got um, Warmaster says hello. We got Philly. Uh, Jay Webby's kicking some food around. Um, yeah, the type of contest he's been doing, though. I mean, Fudge was uh, – that was kind of, a I would say, legit. The, the pistachios contest we uh, – <laughs> I, that's not like a legit contest. Wing, a wing contest. I don't know. I kind of, I'm kind of sour on wing contests for a while because they're they're done by weight, and I, I've never seen people that don't know how to use a scale very well. Like it's just terrible how they use the scales. So any any type of contest rec that requires things to be weighed, I'm kind of staying away from. Um, so yeah, I mean he's definitely doing good. Let's see. What were some other contests we had? We had uh, at the end of last year we had shrimp. We had, we had bagels. Uh, he didn't win those. And what was there was some other. I don't know if he's gonna go to corn. I don't know. I don't really follow most of the other eaters, so I don't know what they're doing. So, um, I really don't. I a lot of people ask like, who's going to this cause? Who's I don't really don't care. Whoever shows up is what I'm gonna compete against. I'm not afraid to compete against anybody. Oh, funky uncle, hello. We got Bruce all the way from Arizona. Bruce, every time I see Arizona, I think Ice Tea. I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Bob and Scott, yeah. Oh, geez, everybody loves it. You got star-studded chats here. Uh, okay, let me go down Philly. I don't know what that means. Uh, Smokey's doing his job. All right. Wow. This is, this is a lot of writing. Wait, I got to read this, Brandy. Um, can I just... Ha, yeah, you got a bunch of other people watching. Um, Brandon wants to get some hiking in. He's, he, he's heading up to Canada in August. <laughs> so, Brandon, when I, when I go hiking... It's a little bit different. I, well, I call it hiking is what I call day hiking. And then when you go up into the mountains and you, you can't, I call that backpacking. And they're totally different um, in my opinion. Um, there's camping, there's hiking, and then there's backpacking. And they're all, they're all different to me. So I don't know what you mean by hiking, but backpacking, it's rough. It, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. Um, it's fun though. Really, really fun. Yeah, we got a whole gang of them in here, uh, Stacy. Um, do I eat peanut butter pickle sandwiches? No, I've tried a pickle with peanut butter on it. Um, my prep? Do I fast? No, no, no. I, I, I can't. I can't fast for two days. Uh, BK, there's just no way. Um, does your YouTube pay well? Um, it pays, most of the months it pays for the food that I eat. <laughs> there's usually a little bit left over. Um, but remember I got to pay taxes on it too. So there's not usually too, too much it, but it does pay for itself. It doesn't cost me anything. Um, if I rape for, well, right before COVID. Yeah. Um, wow. That was, that's, I can't believe COVID was like over two years ago now. Um, 20 pounds of toothpaste and orange juice. No, no, no. Not a competitive eater, but I want to do a local 30-inch pizza challenge in 30 minutes. Uh, chugging a gallon of water each morning. I mean, you could try that. I would, uh, if it was me, I would eat your breakfast first and then try to chug the gallon of water and see how far you could get. I wouldn't, um. I wouldn't just do the straight water. Um, we got Doris in the house, another wrench. We got Robert asked, do I fast before any of my challenges? Just use it a day of. I get tired if I fast too long. Um, fellow wrench. Oh, oh, I see. Good luck on my next challenge. Thank you, P&D. 
Oh, P and D are um. That's a tough question. Uh, I don't. I don't go to either of them. I will say this: when I go into P and D, they seem grumpy. And when I went into Carlos, C Carlos, they were very delightful. Um, as far as the food goes, I think they're pretty much equivalent. That the, the food's about the same. But um, yeah, they were they were much nicer. I don't know what it is about the guys there in P and D. They're very very grumpy, gruff people. <laughs> uh, but they do have. They used to have a really good pizza like deals and stuff like that. But so as far as the food goes, I think they're pretty equivalent. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, no offense. No. Yeah, Bob's been around the longest out of all of us. Yeah. 15 pound dumpling. Where am I going to get the dumplings? I'd have to buy them. Um, thank you. Goofy King. How much hummus do you think I can eat? Oh, man. I love hummus. Uh, my grandfather used to make the best hummus ever. It was so good. Uh, I can still, I can make it myself too. I, I can make it pretty good. Not quite as good as his. I don't know what he used to do. I think the trick to hummus is to make it and then you put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for a couple of days in, in the container. And I think that makes it taste better. Um, 80 boxes of KFC chicken. Oh my God, that's not possible. We got Frederick in that pizza. Yes. We got Robert. Do I have a fear of choking? No. No, if I had a fear of choking, I would probably be done with competitive eating. There is a very well-known competitive eater that does have a fear of choking, and he doesn't do very well just because of that. As far as I can, I, I as far as I believe, sweet challenge or a savory challenge? I like them both, savory and sweet. Um, dragon, <laughs> uh, Frederick, uh, can you eat two gallons of baked beans? Yes. Oh, uh, I've I've got several videos where I've done more than that. Um, would you ever consider doing sausage and peppers challenge? Maybe if I didn't have to cook it because I would just totally destroy that. Uh, wouldn't come out good at all. Um, YouTube. Anything new in the electronic world? Um, yeah, we're always getting like new little uh, projects for the kids and stuff. Like I don't know if they're new. They're new to me. They're probably not new to the world. Oh, I just got a paper. Uh, my name. Uh, I helped. Uh, I helped collect some data for an experiment, and my name. I got on the um, paper. So our paper is going to be published next month in the. Um, it's the the name of the journal is called the Physics Teacher. So yeah, I got my. Uh, I think this is the second paper I've gotten published within the last couple of years. So if anybody out there reads the Physics Teacher. Um, You'll be able to read the read the article. I I uh, helped collect some. It's on. Um, I, I I know what it's on. I just don't know how to say it. So it's it's on. It, it, we we measured did some experiments with some radiation, and we we, we had a Geiger counter. We we were counting, doing some uh, measurements. Uh, it's called Comp Compton scattering, but I don't want to get in that. It's too nerdy. Um, Refreshing for the summer, yeah. Uh, I got. I'm definitely gonna do an ice cream challenge this summer. I got. I got to do that again. Baked potatoes. I did a. I did a baked potatoes challenge. Oh man, there's a lot of deleted challenges here. Oh boy, Smokey's been busy. Holy moly, Smokey's been busy. Uh, Smokey, just uh, just kick him. And Powerade as you go to drink on challenge. No, I don't. It depends. I use lots of different stuff. I use hot water, Powerade, or sometimes I use fruit punch. Um, uh, New England clam chowder. Oh, I don't, I'd probably go with the clam chowder. I don't like clam cake cakes at all. Um, I mean, I'd eat them, but I don't, I would never buy them. Um, and even clam chowder, I would never buy clam chowder, but, um, I like it better than clam cakes. Um, <laughs> thank you, Smokey. Thank you, Brandy, for thanking Smokey. Smokey's been busy there. Um, you don't know how to cook pot roast. <laughs> yeah, no, I probably could figure it out. I mean, you just basically, you you just make sure there's a little water. You can put some vegetables around it. You just bake it in the oven, right? Um, but how many chicken wings can I throw back? I don't know. I've done, I, um, again, the numbers aren't accurate. Over, I'd say over 200. 
I don't know if I'd want to eat an, an entire pig, man. I, I don't know. There's lots of parts of the pig that I don't know if I'd like. <laughs> I don't think I could eat the skin or anything like that. Uh, thank you from Vermont, Andrew. Man, I would love to get up to the uh, Ben & Jerry's factory up there in Vermont. I've never been. Um, four cheesesteaks and a t-shirt. Wow. Oh, I wish I could do another cheesesteak challenge, too. Um, oh, when I'll quit, Isaiah? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I'll quit uh, anytime soon. But it's always something I'm thinking about. Dang, this thing just keeps jumping. Shout out to Nancy. She's a fan. Yes, Nancy. Hello. Hello, Nancy. Um, well, let's see. I will buy you a party pizza from P&D. Teddy will sponsor it. He says, if you eat it on video, let me know. So let's see. Kaleidoscope. In the video description, there's an email. Email me. And we can discuss it. That definitely something I would do. Um, I definitely like P and D's pizza. I like they they have like a it's like the classic New England uh, pizza. So it's really good. Um, my friend goes in there all the time too, and he says the same thing too that the owners are a little grumpy, but he likes the he likes the food so much he keeps going anyways. <laughs> um, well, how, how old do I, how many, let's see. I always could eat a lot as a, let's see, Dominic. I always could eat a lot as a kid, more than most of my friends. So um, it's just something I was always good at. I think if I would have done this when I was younger, like in my 20s, I think I would have been really, really good. But I started when I was old and, meh. Uh, chicken coop worth of rotisserie chickens. <laughs> um, Tom brought in the house. Yeah, I got second place at Fudge. I don't know if congrats. I just don't feel like I did my best there. And there's, I have a reason why. I, well, I guess it's an excuse. There's no excuses, all right. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I put my best effort into that contest. Um, and. I'll discuss that more in about a month, I guess. Um, what was the reason, but the reason was good. And I'm glad I did it. So Scott Eats is saying, oh, Doris is saying hello to Scott Eats. Um, wish I could hook up with Beard. Yeah, unfortunately, he lives far, far away. Um, so humble. <laughs> Bob used to be called Humble Bob, not me. Um, chat can you give a shout out to Nancy? Oh, I, I did already, right? Why do these things keep, do people just do them twice? I must be so far behind people ask doing twice and then because they think I'm skipping them. Um, keep doing competitive. Yeah, because uh, Cryptic Night, it, it does take a lot of time and um, sometimes you like got to be like, does is it worth the time I'm putting into it? Um, monetarily, eh, it's it's borderline worth it. So, Sean, like I said, had a great meeting with you and Andrew and Poole and Ding. Oh. oh. Oh, 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 oh. Was there a cheesecake contest? Is that what you're talking about? There must be, yeah, Michelle. I think that's what you're talking about, cheesesteak contest. I saw that, yeah. Um, Missouri. Cashew chicken challenge. Oh, my God. I definitely have to buy that. I want to see Brandon do a stealth camp, literal North Pole. <laughs> Every single time we, we go up into the into the mountains and stuff like that, we're, those are all stealth camps, right? Because whenever you camp at a non-designated spot, stealth camping. So I've done that a bunch of times, but not like Brandon does. Brandon does it at, like the local Walmart and stuff. <laughs> I don't know how he does that. I, I couldn't sleep. I would just be up awake all night. Um, Indian food. I, it's been a long time. I can't even remember. I think I've been to an Indian restaurant one time. Um, man, I can't believe I still haven't caught up to the bottom of this yet. Wow, what time is it? Yeah, we got to end this pretty soon. But I want to catch up here. So, uh, Monster Burrito. 
Yeah, I would like to do that monster burrito. It looks pretty good. 100 thumbs up. Wow. Thank you. Um, 30 and 30 Burger King video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said I got to do another fast food challenge. Um, I'm going to, maybe this weekend, I'm going to try to put one together. Maybe. I don't know. I need a good idea. Maybe I'll do Wendy's. Some, something on Wendy's menu. 30 of those. I'll take a look. Uh, thank you. Wealth is health. Um, what's up from Newcastle, Pennsylvania? Um, yeah, kaleidoscope. I already, I already, we already discussed that. Um, my favorite fruit I never get sick of eating. Well, there's lots of them, but pizza, I'd say. Um, tour my Jeep again. Yeah, I've done a lot of stuff. Actually, I, I'm gonna be, um, maybe I'll do that after I put the fuel injection on it. Um, that's my goal this summer is get fuel injection on my Jeep. I'm sick of that carburetor. If the carburetor runs beautiful, except for when you like this and like this and like if on this, it's fine. Like this and like this and like it, it's it's not so fine. Uh, and so I had another carburetor that was was an off road carburetor, um, Holly Avenger, but it had problems where it, it would stumble off the line and stuff like that. And I guess you can't. There's no really good way to to, to fix it. So I put a different carburetor on here, and it works really good on, on the flat. It actually works better than the other carburetor, but off angles, it's just, it's it's no good. So I can't, like, rock crawling, I have trouble keeping up with, like, some, some of the smaller rigs because I have to keep feathering the gas and, and playing around with the gas so I don't stall out and stuff like that. So I'm going to go to a fuel injection this summer, and I better win some contests because it's expensive. Um Best and worst pizza challenge toppings. I, I just like plain cheese. Plain, plain cheese pizza is my favorite. So that's what I go with if I can. If I can't, I go with ham and chicken. And if I have to pick like a water, I pick uh, pep, uh, pineapple. So Smokey's got to run. So this place is going to get overrun. So Doris, <laughs> Doris is going to have to do everything. All right. So we're going to end this pretty quick too. Sean Nichols is in the house. He's another competitive eater. Um catch a lot yes let's see i gotta try to get to the bottom of this because i gotta end this pretty quick think about doing another scrambled egg challenge i could az streetwalker i definitely want to do a breakfast one i want scrambled eggs in what maybe some toast yeah that would be good healthiest challenge eat insane amount of veggies i could do that next up 20 pounds of kibasa no 20 pounds of anything is, is a lot we got poke uh Poke the gaming panda. Pierogi. Yes, I've done pierogies and I messed them up really bad and they didn't taste that great. Man, I, I see there's a super chat here, but I haven't gotten down to it yet. Um, maybe I'll have to skip some comments so I can get down to that because I definitely want to recognize that before I go. Um, no, I don't have any merch, Brandy. Um, <laughs> I find it harder to cook them, Ryan. So what about the 13-pound Frito pie challenge? Yep. Yeah, there's like, I, 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 I used to write these down in a notebook and I haven't done that in a while. I think I got to start doing that. Papa Murphy's stuff, pizzas are quite substantial. I have to see if we got a Papa Murphy's around. All right, we got Mike Perry, Power Aid Money. So Mike, I just bought some, they were, they were, they were on sale for a dollar a piece. I just bought some today, so that's much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Scott Eats wants to collab on, on uh, oh, ice cream, yeah. We'd have to find some ice cream that we both could get up in Canada in here. But I guess like plain vanilla ice cream and we could put some toppings on it or something. So it should be pretty easy to coordinate. My Jeep's going good. It, unfortunately, the weather is not so good. Next week's supposed to warm up though. Um, Badlands. They don't actually live. Badlands uh, in damn drops, they go to Connecticut a lot, which is not too far. But uh, I don't know if they'd want to collaborate with me. Um your cooking is not good. <laughs> yeah, I should. I'm going to Atlanta in about a about a month. Um, how many sun chips? <laughs> I don't know. That would be a rough. Any any potato chip challenge is rough. Hundred donuts and a gallon of milk. I've done eighty donuts and a gallon of milk. Uh, they'd have to be the squishy donuts if they'd be a hundred, not the cake ones. Um, Tom, bro. <laughs> Cheesesteak challenge, yes. I would love to. I'd love to. I've only done one ever. Um, 
fold your pizzas and call it a calzone. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to do another calzone challenge, too. It's been a while. How many up dogs can you eat? All of them. Uh, five big cheesesteak hoagies. <laughs> I'd have to find a good place to buy them. Uh, they have one dollar. What is this? One dollar Dave's hamburgers right now at Wendy's. Really? Yeah. I'll check that out, Brandy. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, what kind of Jeep do I have? I have an 85 CJ7. Um, you just got a Gladiator. Ooh. Nice. I've never ridden in a Gladiator. Um, eating challenge. Thank you, Kayleen. Oh, I like that name. Um, Christopher Larkin says, can you drink a case of beer? I don't know. I'd have to try it. I'd try it with, like, root beer, maybe. Um, don't. Ooh, thanks for watching, Blake. Holly needs to sponsor your Jeep. <laughs> no, I don't need a Jeep sponsor. Um, I took my carburetor off my stomach, and now I can... <laughs> All right. Uh, Jeff, I cannot believe you're eating all them Whoppers. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that was... That was a rough challenge. I didn't know what I was getting into. Um, meat Lover's Pizza. Yeah, those are okay, too. I don't mind Meat Lover's Pizzas. Um, Ash. Thanks for watching, Ash. Oh, Sun Chips Eclipse. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on Monday. I'm definitely, we're supposed to get about 93% uh where we are here so looking forward to seeing that what is going on you just barely touch the screen and like it goes nuts um let me see all right so this name is going to see deepika so how do i say that i don't know how to say your name vakash vakash i guess and your wife's name is Deepika. Uh, I appreciate it. Happy happy birthday, Deepika. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm not even going to attempt to say your last name. But uh, Vikash and Deepika. <laughs> I want to do an Indian food challenge, but I wish you were around here to show me where I could get some good Indian food because I have no idea where to get it. One of my students used to own a restaurant, an uh, Indian restaurant too, but I haven't seen them in years and years because they graduated. Um, my next challenge is going... Well, I'm going to leave that a surprise. Um, it should be coming out in a couple of days. I shot it today, so... Hello from Freeport, Maine. Thank you. Congrats. You caught pretty, pretty close to catching up. Yeah, Sean. You... Better tell me before you come to Atlanta. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be in Atlanta. I'm flying into Atlanta, and I'm immediately driving north. So I'm not going to be there for very long. I'll be in Atlanta for probably 20 minutes. <laughs> as soon as my plane lands, I get in my rental car, and I drive away from Atlanta. Um, a bowl of scrambled eggs, 10 pancakes, 5 toast, 5 large hash browns, 10 sausage links. I like all of that. I don't really like sausage too, too much, but I would eat them. Yes, I'm a teacher. Yes. Uh, North Cali. Man, I haven't gone to California in a while. It's just a long flight. <laughs> I've been on some long flights lately. Um, favorite challenge, recent memory. Uh, I don't know. There's... I guess the, the 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 most recent one was that pizza challenge I did at the local pizza place. That was pretty fun. The owner was very very uh very nice. Um, all right, one more comment comment, not just a, and we'll we'll get out of here. It's almost eight thirty. I gotta do some dishes. Yeah, Az, I teacher. I'm looking forward to the summer break coming up soon. Oh man, I don't know. As as this will be my twenty third year. Uh, every year it just gets more and more tired. Um, largest amount of food I've eaten in a challenge weight wise was twenty. I think twenty three pounds. I don't remember statistics too well, um, but right around there. Oh, thank you, Jeremiah, for watching. And Brandy's going to e uh, email me. That's excellent. I will probably won't check my email till tomorrow. So if I don't get back to you right away, um, I do appreciate it, though. Fruits. 
Chinese food egg. Well, Brainy, we'll just work on one of them for now. One one challenge for now. Um, please hit the thumbs up. Yes, thank you, Tom. All right, so I think I'm going to end this. I appreciate everybody that watched. I can't believe I had over 100 people in here for most of the time. Um, yeah, and I think in about a month I'll have a... I'll have another live definitely in about a month to discuss something I want to talk about. And my next contest isn't until the middle of May. So in the meantime, I got to start thinking about qualifiers. And um, I want to do some more fast food videos. So hopefully you'll be able to see those coming out soon. And all right. I'm trying to end the live on this phone, but it's actually on this phone here. So I got to do this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Why is this not? Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh. I'm definitely too tired to be doing this.